Welcome back to today's vlog. Today is Vlogmas day six. Um, today I am going to be doing something a little different. Um, I was going through a design space on um, Cricut, Cricut Design Space and I was trying to find something like a Christmas project that I could do. Um, and I saw this idea from somebody um, who posted it on Design Space um, and it was a little bit um, out of the ordinary, I'm gonna say. Nothing that I would have ever thought, but I am going to be putting this design, sorry, I'm trying to not get the, um, onto a toilet roll. <laughs> um, so one of the designs will go there. The design did have one on each side, but I'm just gonna put one like that because it's going to sit like that on top of my toilet. So you won't see the bottom anyway. Um, they did use iron on, um, I think, at least that's what it looks like in the, in the, um, photo. Um, but I'm just going to use normal vinyl and see how it turns out. Um, obviously we won't be using this, so it's, it's not like one we're going to be flushing or anything like that. It's just pure decoration to sit on top of the toilet. Um, just to jazz up the bathroom a little bit, I guess. Um, so yeah. I'm going to film um, the process. Um, don't mind the wall. Um, since we took the um, cupboard out, um, it has like the marks of where the tape things were, the glue or whatever. Um, that is going to be another one of my vlogs. Um, sometimes it, sometime this month, I wanna get around to um, redoing this area. So sanding back the wall, fixing all the holes and um, and then giving it a really good paint. Um, I haven't decided on a color yet. Um, it is in my bedroom, so I don't want anything to um, like mismatchy. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna just go with white and then do a feature wall on the wall that my bed um, goes along. Um, so yeah, I haven't decided yet, which is why it's still like this. But yes, I am going to be fixing um, that mess. So it will be a nice place to vlog in here. Um, but anyway, so today I'm just using um, red and green. Um, I really, really love these colors. And I actually forgot that I had this green because um, I was worried that I wouldn't have a, a good like green color on hand to make this. Um, but yeah, so let's get creating. So I have already um, gone ahead and measured the circumference um, around there and also um, measured here to make sure my designs are going to fit. Um, and the Little Merry Christmas is um, nine centimeters by 6.3. And then the little reef, reef, reef um, thing is pretty much the same, nine centimeters, although it is bigger, obviously, because it's round. Um, so it's slightly, um, smaller, um, the height. So I'm going to go ahead and click make it. I believe that it is already attached, so I won't need to, yeah. Oh no, that is still registering as a print and cut. Hang on. I'm going to go and try and, I think that's how they did it. They did like a print and cut thing. Um, I'm going to try and get it to do basic a cut and see if that will do that. So hopefully that turns out all right. Um, is that everything? Yes, and then yes, so there's that. So it's just got two pages. Um, I will go ahead and cut out my vinyl and then I will be back. I'm now going to go ahead and select which vinyl. Um, I am using the Oracle, on, where is the label? The Oracle Intermediate Cow 651. Um, the one bad thing about using these is that it doesn't fit um, to cut it on my Cricut like cutting thing um, because they're just too long like they oh, you can't see I 
maybe if I do it this way. They, yeah, they're just too long. So that is one bad thing. I want to actually get like a bigger one of these that's not Cricut um, so that they do fit. Um, so I just had to cut it out with scissors. But I'm just going to go ahead and choose the premium vinyl um, permanent glossy. And then I'm going to do for the pressure, I'm going to select more. And then once again, I am going to get my plunger and push it down and just make sure it gets off everything that was on there when I did my previous cut, which was um, cardboard, um, cardstock, sorry. So it may have little, little pieces on there. So once I do that a few times, it is done and ready to use. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play. Okay, that is all done. I'll try and get it so the light isn't on it. You can't really, you can't really see it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and weed all this out and see how well it did. I'll try and do this close to the camera. sure that I don't <laughs> miss any of the little um, uh, little berry things there so I'm just gonna go ahead now and get my weeding tool and take out like their little things from the R's and the A I am just going to use this scrap um, thing to stick that on um, so some people just stick it like on their hand here, but I don't know, I just prefer to stick it on the little scrap because it is still sticky. So there we go, there is the Merry Christmas and the little berries for the wreath. I'm just going to take this off so I can put my green on. Okay, I have my green piece. Um, like I said, it is so much harder to cut without one of those um, cutting things, but I will eventually get one. Okay. So as you can tell, it is definitely not even um, because it kept folding up. Um, but anyway, it, it is enough to go in the machine. So I am going to go ahead and do the same thing. So um, select premium vinyl, permanent glossy, and then select the pressure as more. I'm not going to clean my blade this time. Um, just when I start and then I'm going to go ahead and load it. Okay, that is all done, so I'm going to go ahead and unload it. And yes, as I thought, um, the little branches are too tiny. Some of them did work, like this one worked really well, um, and this one did okay. So I'm going to have to go and go back into design space and try and find something that is easier to cut, um, because I don't think I'm going to be able to use... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use that because that, that's all stuck at least. Um, so I'm going to find one that has thicker leaves. Um, this one, the design that the person originally used was for a print and cut I saw. Um, as you can tell, they're like super, super tiny. Um, and it is, that I think the Cricut struggles like with the really tiny um, 
designs. Although I may try one more um, type. I've heard that if you um, do the washi tape setting, um, then it does a better job. So I might try and that one first because I have already got the little berries. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out another square and try the washi tape setting to see if that does a better job. Okay, I have got more green um, ready to go. So I'm just gonna go back and click the green and browse materials. And then I'm gonna type in washi and it's gonna say washi tape. Um, I'm going to try, I'm actually gonna save that one as favorites. I'm gonna try and do that because it does cut it less. And then I'm just gonna leave it on the default setting. Um, I actually probably should have chose less, less pressure on the last one. Um, I didn't even think about it, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on the default one and go ahead, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm going to go back and delete the Merry Christmas so it doesn't try and um, cut those again. Um, and then go back and do all that again. Um, that's all good. And then the setting, it's got to connect back to my Cricut and the setting should already be there. So it's down here, this yellow. So I'm going to choose that one and then press play. And I will be back to see if that does a better job. Um, if not, then I will just have to choose a different design for the leaves. Okay, that looks like it did a much better job. Um, it's hard with the ring light, but um, you can see all the things. Hopefully it did cut cut deep enough because some places um kind of looks like that's going to be hard to weed but I'm going to give it a go it is better like this than all torn up I'm just going to go ahead and cut the excess um off here so I'm not Wasting too much green. Gonna go around like that and then put this in my scrap pile. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the mat. And try and weed it very carefully. Some of the leaves are sticking, so I'm just gonna use the bottom, um, the bottom curve bit of my tool right here to kind of just like press it down as I'm pulling it up. So it is not coming apart. <laughs> it didn't cut completely through some places. So it is completely sticking. Um, yeah, definitely is not a good design to cut. I mean, I could probably try and salvage some of the leaves by taking them off like that and just peeling, but I think that's going to make everything look a bit <laughs> broken so I am gonna go ahead and find a different design um, I would have loved to use this one but unfortunately it's just not a good cutting design which is obviously why they had it as a print and cut because it, that would make it a lot easier so I'm gonna go through design space and try and find one um, with the same circle shape um, and I will try something else Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this one. It is more simple, but I'm just going to delete the berries um, because I am going to just use the little berries from the other one um, 
and then I'm gonna cut this one out. It is much more simple and should be much easier to cut. Okay, that is done and it looks like it cut it out perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed that. I am gonna cut away the excess like I did before. Just go around the reef. And then I'm going to stick it back down to my mat, um, just on the corner, just so it makes weeding easy. Um, and then it's not um, moving around in the desk. So there we have it, there is the little circle that will go on top. Um, I will have to do this by hand because this is not going to be, um, it won't work using the transfer tape because obviously it is going to rip the toilet paper so I'm going to have to kind of freehand this, I think, and try, um, it's not going to peel up that way, take this up and place them where I want it. And then the last one. I'm actually not sure this one is going to fit. I think I may have um, mismeasured this one. I think that if I put it on the out side a little bit. Yeah, I did. I was way off with the measurements of that. So I am going to go ahead and just cut off um, a little bit of this. So I cut a couple of leaves off um, just the end couple. Now it is much shorter, so it should fit there nicer. A little bit. So. can go around and play with it a little bit um, try and get it to stick in the little creases um, but now sorry I just bumped my now I'm gonna go ahead and just choose some of these dots and just place them um, where I would like them there we go that is the top of the roll. I think it doesn't help that this roll isn't exactly um, circle so um, but now I'm going to go ahead and choose where I'm gonna have the Merry Christmas. I think I'm gonna do it along here because I feel like this is the 
it's like flattest surface. And again with this, because I can't use the transfer tape, I'm going to try and um, peel these off and stick them Spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you, so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everything else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, 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 la da 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 oh, 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 la da da da, making our Christmas memories. Okay, that is the finished product. I probably could have moved the C over a little bit and put the H um, a little bit more towards the C, but it did fit in the end. Um, so that is the finished product. Um, I think it's gonna look super cute on top of the toilet. I'm super happy uh, with how it turned out. Um, I definitely wanna retry and um, do a better design of this one, but I was in a little bit of a rush because Noah is napping, so I only have a short amount of time to get one of these done. Um, so I am going to trial out um, some more designs um, because um, and make sure that I measure the second design. <laughs> I was, like I said, I was rushing to get it done um, and I made it slightly bigger than the old design, um, which I should have noticed because it was bigger than the other design, but anyway, um, so yeah, but it will still look cute. And like I said, it's going to be sitting like that on top of the toilet and yeah, people aren't really gonna, yeah. So, um, I guess I, yeah, yeah. So it's just going to be sitting like that, um, on top of the toilet, which I might get a video of, um, in a second. Thank you guys so much for watching this video um i will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day seven um i all these days are just getting jumbled up so like um i'm glad that i can just tell from the date um because if it was like jumbled up through the month and i was doing this um i would li seriously lose track um but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow um 
this week has been a little bit jumbled, little jumbled up um, with the vlog schedule. Um, so I've got to try and catch up on a couple of things. Um, but I will let you know. Obviously tomorrow when I make the video, I do plan on... Today was going to be um, doing a DIY Christmas sign. Um, but I was supposed to have already prepped for that yesterday. And because yesterday I did the vegan cookies, everything all got jumbled up. So, um, but I am going to try and get that video done because I'm really excited to do that video. And I realized that I already had red paint, but anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm getting off topic now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.